Good day, gamers. Hey, sorry I'm just a couple minutes late. We had some technical difficulties. I was hoping to print something out for you, but I don't know if it worked. Oh, well. So if my wife comes rushing in here with a printout, then I know it worked. Hey, okay. So welcome once again to another Facebook Live show with uh, for Game Master Games. And I'm your host, Game Master Dave. So let's level up. Hey, Greg, nice to see you. Um, all right, so there has been some exciting things this past week. Um, I got a chance to, uh, uh, I've got a chance to, hey, Chris, hey, Ginger. Uh, I got a chance to play Dune uh, with my friends. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart for letting me go to their board gaming night and break out the new game that I got. Now, I unboxed Doom uh, last week, but I got a chance to play it. And one of the things we found out is, why is the board game coming out now? Why, why are they remaking it? Gale Force 9 remade it. And I found out the reason they're doing it is because next year, in December 2020, they're planning on coming out with a movie. So I guess that's part of the reason why they did it, or, or who knows. I've been waiting for this game for 20 years to come out. I lost my copy in a flood uh, way back in, uh, way back like, I don't know, I guess about 15 years ago or so, I guess. Uh, I played it probably 75 times in, in high school. Uh, had so much fun with it. So we're going to cover a little bit of that again. But I also did something else that was really cool this week, and I really hope that uh, uh, you guys check it out. Uh, hey, Charlie, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, so for some reason, I keep scrolling on my screen that all these that you guys are watching, but it's the same people scrolling by. I don't know if that is a, a glitch that I have, and maybe I should have restarted my computer or my internet. Who knows? But uh, uh, so it, that is driving me nuts right now because it's taking up my whole screen of. Virginia, Charles, Gregory, and Chris is watching. So, uh, hey, Charlie, nice to see you. Hey, Charlie, we missed you at Octacon, um, but that's okay. We're going to have more events coming up in the future. And let me tell you about LI uh, Tabletop Expo uh, in next April, so um, in 2020. So maybe you might want to be an artist there, get a vending table there. I'll fill you in on details a little bit later. Okay, but anyway, uh, so this week I got a chance to meet up with uh, Rich from Legendary Realms, Rich Parla, and we were live on Twitch. It's my first time being live on Twitch with a new show that we've come out called uh, Morning Coffee. Uh, I'm sorry. Whoa, I got a name wrong. Got to get the name right, right? It's over coffee. I'm sorry. So we'll be talking about games and events and stuff like that on Long Island. And it's on uh, Long Island Tabletop Twitch channel. So check it out. Uh, Rich and a whole bunch of other people are developing a ton of content for that uh, Long Island Tabletop uh, Twitch channel. And it's very exciting. They've got six shows a week. I am one of them. We're doing it every other Monday right now. And it's just 30 minutes in the morning at 6.30 a.m. So while you're getting ready for work or, or going, to, uh, going to work, driving to work or whatever, uh, turn on your phones to uh, twitch.com, Long Island Tabletop, and listen to me and Rich. So we won't be on this coming Monday, but the following Monday. I'll, I'll bring it up again at uh, uh, next week's um, Facebook Live show. So... Don't forget, you can type questions into the Facebook Live. You can ask me anything you want, um, and it can be about games or, or other stuff. And uh, I'm really excited that uh, Ginger can help uh, answer your questions too, just in case I get busy. So I'm going to cover a couple things uh, first. Uh, I don't have the posters on the wall right now. Now look at this. Uh, look at this. Somebody somebody drew this at Octacon. I gotta get I gotta get a good view of this. I don't know who drew it and stuff, but it's cute. It was just hanging around, um, uh, hanging around on the table. It's got maybe a signature down there, but I can't really read it. Anyway, I just wanted to share that that, that was at Octacon. I talked a little bit about uh, Long Island Tabletop Expo already. So that's April 18th, 2020. You can actually go right on uh, uh, li tabletop dot com and dot com and you can start to sign up to be a board game or a role playing game or you can actually buy tickets. Hey, just in two days, Ginger and I are at the Beth Page Library. We are running these games um, in just a couple days. So, uh, welcome to your perfect home was a huge hit uh, at our personal last game night as well as at, at Octacon. And there's the address and phone number for Beth Page Library. And then also uh, on December 6th, we're doing Digzit, Codenames XXL, and Villainous. Now, Ginger and I need to learn how to play Villainous because we don't know how to play. Uh, also at the Beth Page Library, they got virtual reality. 
Um, that's November 6th and December 4th. That's a little bit of a shadow of the Dune game. There we go. Um, and Ginger is taking this Mahjong class. So, hey, Bill, thanks for chiming in. Yeah, Bill got a chance to play... Um, uh, Bill got a chance to play uh, Welcome To, so I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, and there's Ginger. Put up the litabletop.com link, which is awesome. Thanks, honey. Also, Ginger and I invite you. It's not a gaming thing, but boy, do we love this uh, Soulful Sundown. It's on the, um, I think, the second Friday of the month. Uh, it is, you don't have to come for dinner, which is $5. Uh, there is a Unitarian service at 7.30, uh, which always has a great message from Reverend Jennifer. You don't even have to come to that. Just come to the coffee house. It's completely free, free music. Uh, unbelievable. And that is, let's see, 48 Shelter Rock Road, Manhasset. Uh, Ginger and I are pretty much there every month. We'd love to see you. Come sit with us. Come chat. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the message. Whatever you got. Also, Cosmic Comics and Games, uh, who support us at uh, Octacon and everything. So uh, there is some of their stuff. They have a membership program. Wait, wait, hot off the hot, oh, hot off the press. Hey, <laughs> Ginger, what the heck just happened? Uh, Ginger brought me the printout. Hey, thanks, honey. So uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was, you know, here's how to get a hold of us and some of the other local stores. Uh, Ginger's awesome. She's amazing. So uh, and then also our websites that uh, we're working on and stuff like that. I don't have the Twitch channel up here. Um, but I have the LI Tabletop, and also they got a Facebook page. Go ahead and like them on Facebook. I've got a YouTube channel and a Patreon page. Uh, I'd love for you to support me if you uh, feel up to it, uh, even a couple dollars a month, because uh, I can buy a, a stand and a better microphone and, and, and some programs for the computer to do some cool stuff. And then Fat Dog, Fat Dog, Con.com. It is happening this year. The tickets are a little pricey, but man, you get, uh, you get, they're $60 for the day, just one day, but you get the best food ever. And you get to come hang out with me and um, a whole bunch of other people and play war games, Euro games, a whole bunch of stuff. So please check that out thanks ginger for bringing that over so so uh the uh, so the next thing i wanted to cover was uh dune uh i'm gonna go into a little bit of a gameplay not really sample or anything like that i would love your feedback because um you know so many uh there are so many people out there doing review content you know like rating games and and like the top 10 games or top five games uh, you know, I haven't really gotten into any of that. I could make these Facebook Lives longer. I could make them more detailed. But I always thought that that would be better for a podcast or a YouTube channel. Anyway, uh, I do have some people that are really interested in the Dune game. A few people did message me after I uh, uh, did the unboxing last week. And so I figured I'd go into a little bit of the gameplay. If you've read the books or seen the movie, you will, you will get some of the uh, context of what's going on. So basically, here is Dune. So we've got Dune. You know, it was a Frank Herbert book uh, series. And uh, apparently, for years and years and years, the Herbert family did not give up the yeah. rights to it. But they did, finally, to Gale Force 9, which who puts this out. It's for two to six players. It takes about two hours to play. But honestly, it all depends on what happens in the game because you could have a pretty quick game. Uh, with teaching it to four other people, when I played it the other night with five people, it did take us about two hours, but teaching it. But the game ended only in game turn five uh, because uh, I made an alliance with somebody and I won. <laughs> so here's Dune and the spice must flow. That's basically the premise of the game. Um, how you win, you see that there's cities, these cities around here. Uh, and if you at any time during the game, you control three of those cities, you win. Uh, so, oh, I forgot to mention. Thanks, Ginger, for reminding me that the Main Street Board Game Cafe, it's a little late for you guys to travel out there now, but they have lots of cool events. Like their Facebook page, get on their mailing list. They're doing a Halloween party tonight. They do something like every Wednesday night, they do some really cool stuff, but almost every day of the week they're doing stuff. And I just found out one of the other game companies I support, crispygames.com, uh, they're going to be doing a demo up there uh, pretty soon, so I will feed you that information. But anyway, so you can move your forces around onto the board, but um, and then you want to land, you want to get take over three of those cities, but in order to do anything, you have to collect spice, and spice comes out on territories like that. That's our little spice markers. So in the broken land, some spice has popped up, eight units of spice, 
And uh, so they pop up over there. And then basically what might happen is the Harkonnens move over there to collect the spice. But then maybe the Atreides move over there to collect the spice. And they have a battle. So here is, if you're familiar with the characters in the movie, there's a emperor. Um, and then there's like one of his leader discs right there, Hashemir Fenring. I'm sure you remember. Also Harkonnen with uh, Peter de Vries. And there's other leaders too, but this is just one of them. Uh, and then you got the Spacing Guild. I thought in the movies and the books it was called the Spice Guild, but they're calling it Spacing Guild. I can't remember. Um, and then you have the Bene Gesserit. So they can actually make a prediction on who's going to win in what turn. And if they win, then uh, then they, uh, they win instead. Ooh, honey, I forgot. Thanks for reminding me. I can't believe I did. So I'm going to take a Ginger brought up a good point. Metatopia is happening not this weekend, but next weekend in in New Jersey, in Morristown, New Jersey. Go to D, uh, D, Dex Exposure or Double Exposure or whatever it is, dot com. Ginger's got the link there. This is a fantastic gaming convention, but it's unlike any gaming convention you've ever been to. Because what it is, is it's $20 for you to get in for the entire weekend, like four days, three, three and a half days of, of gaming. But it's for, um, it's for unpublished games. So if you go there as a, as a play tester, it's $20. You have to pay a little bit more to go there with your games to demo them. So you get a chance to play uh, up-and-coming games um, that, have been, that haven't been published yet. And that's actually one of them was I just mentioned earlier, Crispy uh, Games Company. Um, so let's see if I got it here. Yeah, so Crispy Games Company, uh, they came out with Clear the Decks. Oh, you can't see it. I, I got to turn the camera around. <laughs> hey, good point. Okay, so they came out with Clear the Decks, which is like a naval fighting card game. Really cool. But the thing is, is that I play tested this. I'm not in the play test credits, but I play tested this one year at Metatopia, and it was fantastic. Uh, so anyway, you can go there. I also play tested, um, oh, uh, Aegis. A E G I S, and that's been in production now. You can like get it, buy it at game stores. So I was one of the play testers on that. Good times. Uh, D exposure dot com. Check them out. Okay, so back to Dune. Sorry about the little break there. So you've got the Benny Jesuit, and then you have the Atreides. There's uh, Lady Jessica as one of the leaders, but Paul Madib is the leader, as you see there on the card. And then you can have the Quazach uh, Quazach uh, Haderach. I, I don't know exactly how you say it. And then you've got the Fremen who basically move from off board over on this side. They're, they're off on the planet side. The, one of the cool things about the game is that at the beginning of the game, everybody's dealt four. There's a card for every single leader in the game. You're dealt four of these. You get to pick one. This is your traitors. So you might have a traitor later in the game. When, when they come up, if you're in combat with them, you can automatically win the combat by having that traitor. The other thing that can happen is we've got the spice over here. Okay, these guys have moved into this territory. They're collecting spice. Okay, but let's turn over the next spice card. Oh, no, Shai Hulad. So basically what happens is all of this gets eaten by the worm, you know. And if there's Fremen there, they actually don't get eaten, and they might be able to ride the worm and go anywhere else on the planet, depending. There's a couple rules associated with that. So that's the turns that are going to happen each turn. You can see storm phase. The storm moves around the board and essentially destroys everything that's not in stone or in a city. Uh, if you read the books and saw the movie, the shield wall could get destroyed. The Imperial Basin and Arakeen and Carthag are protected. But if the shield wall goes down, then those are no longer protected. If you have Carthag or Arakeen, you can see right on there the little symbol. You have the Ornithopters, so you can move faster around the planet. There's so much going on, but it's so much fun. Um, and then uh, we have the spice blow. That's when uh, more spice comes out. Bidding phase. We get to bid on treachery cards. So the treachery cards might be really what most of the game is about. And so you start the bidding process, you know. But Paul uh, Madib, having a little bit of pre-science because he's uh, addicted a little bit to the spice, he gets to look at the treachery card before anybody even bids on it. So you can see that, you know, maybe he doesn't want to bid on that one. <laughs> we got some useless cards here. Let's get a good card. I don't know. I didn't really. There, look, there's a projectile weapon. So maybe he might bid higher on that and he knows what it is. So when you do when you do end up battling, giving that earlier example, you've got the battle wheel. And you're going to dial a certain number of forces to give points. The per person who w wins the game has the most points. 
I'm sorry, the one with the most points wins the game. <laughs> Trying to do this off the cuff with no script. Uh, okay, anyway, so right now you can see here that the Harkonnen would have seven uh, total combat strength. The drawback is, is whatever you dial in troops, you lose. But really what could happen also is, is that somebody might have in their battle plan a projectile weapon, and unless you have a shield, your leader gets killed. So and so then you only have four strength for for the battle. That's just a really, really simple overview of the game. Uh, and then you move around the board, you do combat, uh, and then you harvest the spice, and then you just see if anybody won. There's a few of the civilizations that actually have some ways to win the game before the game is over. And if nobody's won the game at game end, the spice guild wins. So hopefully that was not too boring. Uh, I hopefully got a little bit of an idea, semblance of gameplay and what the components look like. The components are pretty good. I really enjoyed them. Everybody seemed to have a good time the other night. I really appreciate you paying attention. And like I said, I'd love feedback. Do you want me to do sample turn gameplay? Do you want me to record uh, board games, uh, do an actual review, give you give stars or whatever I decide to give? I'd love to know uh, what this, this can be your show as well as mine. So if you're really interested in something, uh, let me know. I like to talk about the events that are up and coming so you don't miss out on them. And I like to tell you guys about what I'm playing like uh, this, you know, this week, what I've played. So those are the things that I like to do in the show. And I'm having a, so much fun doing it. But if you want to see something, please let me know. Ginger and I hope to see you at... Uh, uh, Soulful Sundown sometime. Come join us at the Beth Page Library. It's a completely free event this Friday at 6.30 to 9 o'clock. Don't forget LI Tabletop Gaming Expo next a month, uh, next a year on, in April 18th. And I'll keep you posted on everything else. Send me messages. Send me feedback. I, I really uh, uh, am so happy so many people are joining us online. Hi to everybody again. And with that said... Until we meet again across at the table, at the gaming table, um, I forgot to tell you, for watching, give yourself 100 experience points. Oh, Ginger says pizza. Pizza at, so at uh, I said Soulful Sundown, no. Pizza at the Beth Page Library, right at 6.30. And until we meet again across from the gaming table, keep your dice dry, your rule books ready, and your Fremen strong. Woo! <laughs>